Aquarius, this is Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot. Welcome, or welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year, happy 2021. Um, if you are here, it's probably for a reason. Um, we're going to be doing uh, the January monthly reading for you here. And this is a general reading for Aquarius, general readings tap into the collective and while they may feel very personal they are not personal readings general readings and personal readings are meant to help you connect to your own intuition which you all possess okay if you enjoy what i'm doing and you're so inclined please like subscribe and share my content if you would if you're struggling with a situation and want to confirm your intuition, you can reach out to me for a personal reading. I would love to help you. All right, so let's get started here. All right, so this is for January, okay? So this right here is the theme for January. This is what we're what you are leaving behind, okay? Right here, this is what you need to know in January. Right here is what might be changing for you in January. This card over here represents what or who is coming and how this might show up. And then this card here will represent, you know, high vibration possibilities or low vibration possibilities, okay? So in other words, if I feel the reading is more high vibration, you know, then that's what this card will represent. Otherwise, it will be low vibration, meaning you probably have to raise your vibration, okay? All right, so let's get started here. Let's move these up a little bit. These cards are a little bit bigger. All right, so let's see what the theme for January is. Discernment. I love seeing that for Aquarius, okay? You know, this says that, you know, you're making a decision and sticking to it, okay? So that's beautiful energy. What else do we have here? We have letting go. So there might be something or somebody that needs, that you need to let go of. There might be a situation that you might be letting go of, but this tells me that it feels like whatever you're letting go of, it's like you you know it to be the right decision, okay? You feel it. All right, so let's look at what you're leaving behind. What do we have? Four of Cups. So, you know, this can be the energy of rejection. It can be the energy of a breakup. So, you know... It feels like, you know, in this particular deck, it has the word indifference here, okay? You know, it might be something that you don't care about, okay? But I read this card as, you know, a breakup or a rejection, okay? Um, you know, or a negative attitude about something. So whatever the case is, that's a really good energy to let go of, all right? All right, so that's beautiful. So what do you need to know in January? All right, so we have the Nine of Pentacles, which is a single energy. You know, it feels like you're getting comfortable with either being on your own or you're getting comfortable... Um, you're finding joy in doing things on your own. Even if you have somebody in your life or somebody that you want in your life, 
being comfortable and happy and joyful on your own is really the first step you know, to bringing in what it is that you want, whether there's somebody out there that you want right now, or you want to be ready for new love, or it, you know, it can mean that in a relationship, you're, you know, you're finding your own, your own way. You're finding something that fulfills you outside of the relationship. Okay. So that's good. That's really good. All right, so what is changing in January? All right, so we have the Emperor. So, you know, this can mean a couple of things, all right? This can mean that potentially there's an Aries that you're dealing with. There might be something changing around an Aries in your life, okay? But, you know, this also speaks to, you know, you might be, surrendering a little bit to the universe, all right? Giving up some control where control might have been holding you back. And this can be controlling what you say. It can be controlling um, what you do, controlling your feelings or emotional outbursts, you know. Um, but I feel like you're surrendering in some way to to the universe, you know, and this card really speaks to letting go and discernment, okay? So both of these cards definitely speak to the Four of Cups, definitely speak to the Emperor. This can also be, you know, a divine, a divine masculine perhaps, um, Your energy around a divine masculine might be changing for those of you that are feminines. All right. We'll clarify here in a minute. All right. So what or who is coming into your life? All right. We have the seven of pentacles, which is the card of what's next. Where are you going to plant that seventh pentacle? It's like you're deciding what you're going to be doing next or who is coming in next, okay? This card, it's perfect in that spot, actually, okay? It's about having vision, having vision of what is coming in next, okay? And then how this shows up, whatever is coming next, how does it show up? We have seven of wands. So what I'm feeling here is that what something that appears to be a challenge, something that appears to be almost negative to you, okay? It feels like that's how something really positive actually shows up for you. So you might go through something, what, what you would see as difficult, you know, up front, on the back end of it it's going to bring in something extremely positive. It's something that, you know, requires you, it's something when you look back on it, you're going to see why something happened, all right? And we'll take a deeper look at that too. And then finally, high vibration or low vibration. All right, so we have nine of swords, okay? This is definitely low vibration. You see the word down here, stress. This is self-created stress. So I feel like this is around, um, you know, how something new comes in for you, okay? You're going to have some stress about this. You're going to possibly worry. And when you feel the tendency in January to worry about something, pull back from it and say, you know what? The universe is on my side. The universe has my back. And this is going to work out for my higher good. I just have to wait and see. I have to wait and see what this is all about. Okay? I strongly feel that. And, you know, letting go and discernment. The challenge here, Seven of Wands, the challenging thing that you might be dealing with, you know, it could be, it could be a lot of things, okay? It could be um, dealing with certain people that are challenging. 
It could be dealing with a job or a boss that's very challenging. Um, you know, it could be losing a person or losing a job, and that feels very challenging. Um, but it's like, it's all meant to unfold this way because there's something very positive on the other side of it. So I feel like the universe is saying, you know, don't let yourself get into this Nine of Swords energy because it's not based in fact. It's based in assumptions and worry and fear. And this is what you have to keep out because if you let yourself go into this energy, it feels like it will take longer to get through the challenges that might be coming, even though they're for your higher good, okay? Because... What you worry about, a lot of times you get more of that versus less of it, versus just trusting. You know, it's like when you're around a friend, you're around a friend or a family member or somebody, and let's say, you know, they're talking about a problem or an issue that they have. They might present it to you like they're a victim, like something is never going to work out, you know, my life is always going wrong. Nothing ever works out for me. You know, they complain to you. How does that make you feel? You know, how does that make you feel when somebody does that? Do you, do you feel sorry for them or do you want to say, look, you know, it's up to you. It's up to you what your life looks like and how you look at your life. I mean, there's, there's always two ways you can go. You can go the complaining victim route or you can go the route of, hey, you know, everybody has challenges and life is a challenge itself. So it's like I can look at it in two ways. I can look at it as, you know, everything is always propelling me to something better in my life, even if it's through challenge or I can look at it as being a victim and that everything always goes wrong for me. Well, when you look back on your life, you'll find that a lot of times when you've had the biggest challenges, which would indicate like a tower, okay, we don't have tower here, but you know, when you go through a tower moment, the star always follows what which represents your heart's desire, okay? So let's take a look. All right, I feel comfortable with this. Um, I want to take a look at what's changing here around this Emperor card, this potential Aries. We're going to take a look a little bit deeper into what's next here with the Seven of Pentacles. And also what this challenge is. And this Nine of Swords too. All right, so what's going on here with this emperor here? Eight of Cups. So a couple of things here. Eight of Cups could indicate that you might be walking away from an Aries or confirming what I already felt here, which is that you're giving up, you're taking a departure from feeling the need to control. You're surrendering. You're allowing things to unfold, and which is removing resistance, okay? It's removing resistance and letting go and being okay with it, okay? That allows you to align with the universe and allow what needs to come in to come in faster, okay? All right, so what's next here? We've got Seven of Pentacles. And we have the death card. So it feels like you might be going through a big transformation here. This might be a big transformation, you know, giving up control where you're more comfortable having a level of control. This can also mean that a Scorpio could be showing up in your life, a significant Scorpio. All right, but it feels like what's changing or what's next here for you is some type of big transformation. Let's see what else. We've got the Hierophant. 
So card of Taurus. So what could be coming next is either a Scorpio or a Taurus into your life um, or transformation around how you might look at commitment or you might be taking a look at you know your overall um, core values. Something that you might have left behind might be causing you to take a big look at what your core values are. And, you know, that could mean, you know, a major job change, a major career change. You know, if you've always wanted to, um, maybe you've always wanted to be in a more spiritual type of, of line of work. Maybe you're not aligning in your in your current job if you're in the corporate world maybe that's not for you anymore or you know if you're maybe you're an artist and you want to move into the corporate world it could go either way okay but it, it's like something big here something big here is coming Okay, and it could be, again, it could be a Taurus or a Scorpio coming into your life, or there's a big transformation around what you're committed to, which again could be a person and it could be, you know, a line of work. All right, so let's take a look at the Seven of Wands, which, you know, are about possible challenges. Ten of Swords. Okay, so... I feel like what's going to happen here in January, whether it's perceived or whether it's true, you're going to feel somewhat betrayed by somebody or your business or your corporation, which could explain why you might be called to be doing something else or you might be called to be with somebody else, okay? Because you are questioning your your core values of who you've chosen to be with or where you've chosen to work or what you've chosen to do with your life. And the great thing about life is that you can change it on a dime. You can change it anytime you want. And we go through cycles in life where certain things feel good at a certain time and then until they don't, you know, then it's time for a change. The cycle has ended. This feels like a major cycle is ending for you. So a new cycle can begin. All right, so let's look at this low vibration here. And it's very understandable why you might be in this low vibration, especially, you know, if this is the challenge, you know, that you are going through, okay? So Nine of Swords clarified by Five of Wands. So... I feel like the at the core of this stress is that you may not know where you stand in life right now. You may not know where you stand when it comes to relationships. You might not know where you stand when it comes to what you want to do for a living. It's like you are craving some clarity. It feels like you're craving clarity here. But it feels like you're going to find it. Discernment. Okay? So let's see. Let's clarify discernment and letting go. Alright, so we have the strength card for discernment. Okay? Okay? So that tells me that, you know, a couple of things. First of all, this card really, you know, could speak to discernment or letting go because, you know, it feels like this situation, whatever it is here, whatever is changing in your life, it feels like it does require a level of strength, but at the same time, it needs to be balanced with letting go and making yourself vulnerable when you do that, when you make yourself vulnerable, opportunities open up for you, okay? 
So card of Leo, we have a lot of major arcana here. So there could be a lot of people, you know, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aries. Letting go, we've got 10 of cups. So what I feel like you might be letting go of is something that you thought made you happy. Ten of Cups, wishes fulfilled or emotional fulfillment. Something that might have emotionally fulfilled you five years ago, two years ago, even a year ago, isn't fulfilling you anymore. And that's why this energy down here of transformation and, you know, where you want to commit yourself to, I feel like that's, you know, that's what's coming for you is really knowing, having discernment about what it is that you want going forward, who it is that you want going forward, being able to let go of something that, you know, isn't serving you anymore, whether it was feeling rejected, you know, I mean, the feeling of rejection, you know, doesn't feel good, obviously, whether it's you know, in work or in relationship, but it does happen for a reason and it does push you to what will not make you feel rejected. All right, so I want to get one more for the Five of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands. So it's like, Instead of worrying, instead of worrying about where you stand in whatever situation, this is saying, Knight of Wands is saying that, you know, you need to take some type of action. What action is it that Aquarius needs to potentially take here? Page of Cups. So, you know, I feel like... Um, You need to let somebody or some situation or some job or opportunity know that this is an interest that you have. This is an interest that, um, you know, something that you've been thinking about, something you've been thinking about for a while is, is starting to feel like a nudge. It's starting to feel like a push to do something, do something different. There might be somebody that you have an interest in. There might be a job or a career change that you have an interest in. And it's about taking action and, you know, telling the right people that, that you're interested or making it known that you're interested. That's the, that's the action that needs to be taken here. You might go in and out with it. You might go back and forth with it. You, you know, you might, um, but I feel like you're going to come to a decision and it is going to require some strength on your part. And I feel like that strength might show up as faith. Faith that this is the right decision. You know, it may not be completely clear to you in the physical world that it's the right decision, but it's something that you feel and it's something that you can have faith in. So if you've been thinking about, you know, changing up your, your life, it almost feels like doing a complete 180 here. Letting go of the old so the new can come in. You know, very apropos for, you know, a January reading here. But at the same time, you know, the Aquarius energy that, that I've been reading and feeling for a long time has felt a little bit stuck. So this feels like very fresh, fresh energy, ultimately, very fresh energy. All right. All right, Aquarius, that is what I have for you for the month of January. Um, you can also look for your weekly reading um, this week as well. All right. So I will talk to you next time. All right. Thanks. Bye.